Welcome to each and every one of you to our broadcast for today. Whether you're here for the first time or you're one of our regulars, we are blessed to have you with us. I can assure you of one thing, mighty are the blessings that await you today. I'm talking about inherited battles. Yes, inherited battles. And I'm giving you prayer points, by the way, that we will pray together before we go off the air. So it's going to be a double-edged sword that we're going to use today. You're going to hear the word, and then we're going to turn the word into prayers. It will surely, surely be a blessing to you. So please don't partake of this blessing all alone. Call a friend, call a neighbor, and share the link with those who you may not even be able to call. Let them know we are here and they can watch and they can listen and they can be blessed. Everyone deserves to be part of this. While you do that, let me go ahead and make my usual announcements. I know many of you are used to that now, but for those who are here for the first time, please grant me the indulgence of going over what I've said so many times. The first is my podcast. You can access the podcast by downloading my podcast app on the Google Play Store. For those of you that use the Android phone, or you can listen directly on the Spreaker app, which you can download on both the Android and the Apple phones. Spreaker is spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E You'll be joining listeners from over 50 countries around the world that have downloaded over 95,000 episodes right now where stand we stand at around 95,730 episodes downloaded. Please spread the word so people can be blessed. I implore you all also to tell others about our presence on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on MixLR, and of course on television. Talking about TV. Let me thank those of you that are watching me right now on RBS TV 13 in the great country of Guyana. We are on there every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. local time. And then we are in 23 Caribbean island countries through Mercy and Truth TV in the great country of Jamaica. We are on there every Saturday from 2.30 to 3.30 local time and every Wednesday morning at 1.30 a.m. local time. God is blessing people and I want you to please come and be part of the blessing. While you are being blessed, we pronounce blessing on the owners of these stations and we pronounce blessing on those who work for them. And please don't forget to listen to us also on our very own radio station, Fresh Waves Radio. We're on the air 24-7. And on that station, you can listen to a variety of programming that's been a blessing to many people and will surely be a blessing to you too. Fresh Waves Radio. You can download the app for both the Android and the Apple phones from their respective app stores. Just type French Waves Radio, install the app, and you are good to go. And please don't forget, you can also go directly on your computer and type in freshwavesradio.com. Scroll down a little bit and press listen, and you are on the air. Please help us spread the word. Don't forget our prayer meeting this Thursday, our prayer meeting this Friday. It will be live on the podcast. It will be also on all the other platforms that you are used to. God is going to bless you as you join us. You know, they say trial will convince you. Well, it gets addictive. When you get in, it's hard for you to abandon it. So this Thursday and Friday, 
Join us for a life-changing experience praying at the throne of mercy. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we need you on this broadcast today. We pray that you will fall on me, that you will give me the freedom to speak. You'll give me the anointing to declare your word. And at the end, when we come to pray, we ask that your spirit will be present with us and you will answer our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody said amen. Winning inherited battles. That's our theme for today. Coupled with powerful prayer points at the end. Winning inherited battles. Yes, there are battles that we inherit from our ancestors. Just like you inherit your skin color, just like you inherit your accent, just like you inherit your looks, you can also inherit battles. Battles that those who brought you into this world fought. Battles that those who brought them into the world fought and handed over to them. Many times they are handed over to you also. How do you win such battles? That's what we're talking about today. Many of us have inherited things that generations past struggled with. And here we are, struggling also. Well, the good news is that the inheritance may also be positive. So, but our focus today is on the negative inheritance. And we're going to thrash it out. And we're going to pray against it. You know, according to the law of inheritance, Children can inherit both assets and liabilities from their parents. Children can inherit property or poverty from their parents. When parents fail to defeat certain contrary forces, when parents don't have the ability to defeat wicked forces, those same forces will resume duty in the lives of the children when the parents are no more. The title of this sermon today suggests very clearly that we're dealing with a serious problem here. Our theme also suggests that these negative inheritances can bring battles into our lives. Many of these inheritances range from health issues to marital issues, financial issues, hardship issues, ministry issues, business issues, success or failure issues. Just to mention a few, because the list is very, very long. And these things can be handed down from past generations that you probably never even knew. I'm sure you've met people who love the Lord wholeheartedly, but are dealing with issues that are way beyond them. You trace their issue to their father or to their mother, only to discover it does not originate from that father or from that mother. When you probe further, you discover that it dates back to a grandfather or it dates back to a grandmother or even a great, great grandfather and mother. Sadly, grandfather fought, but he did not win. So what did he do? He passed it over to the father. The father also fought. Maybe he did not win. So what happens? He hands over the battle to his son and to his daughter. If such a scenario exists in your family, my prayer is that it will stop with you in the name of Jesus. Because actually you can stop it. And that's what our prayers will focus on at the end of this program today, we can win those inheritance battles and we will 
win in the name of Jesus. Do you know what? One would have thought that these battles will fade off once Christ comes into somebody's life. That's what you'll have thought. You'll have thought automatically. All battles should end when Christ becomes the Lord of your life. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work that way. Because you see, salvation takes care of getting to heaven. It is teachings like you are hearing today that will take care of living a life of heaven here on earth, free from the bondage, free from the yoke of inherited battles. Allow me to share with you a classic example. You're going to love this. A classic example of inherited battle in the Old Testament. If I mention the name Abraham, what comes to your mind? The father of faith. That's what crosses every mind. Another thing that crosses your mind what, by the mention of the name Abraham, the man who had to wait and wait and wait before he had a child. Is that all right? That is the truth. Abraham waited and waited and waited. He was delayed by whatever reason, for whatever reason rather, from having a child. But you see, <laughs> the delay in the life of Abraham was as a result of an inherited battle that many people have today. He was delayed, but he wasn't the first in his family to be delayed in the area of having children. In his case, it manifested bad. And I thank God that God has chosen to give prominence to that story in the Bible. You know, for many people, the delay may not be that of childbearing because delay manifests itself in various ways. It could be delay in getting married, it could be delay in finishing school. It could be delay in passing a board exam. It could be delay in getting approvals for one thing or another. It could even be delayed growth in a child. It could be delay in moving up the ladder of success. It could be delay in getting results for what you are looking for result for. The list is endless of things and areas of our lives that we can suffer delay. My prayer for you is very simple, that God will destroy every battle with delay in your life right now. You know, anytime I go to Africa, I always tell people who hang around me, I say, the circumstances in this continent, the circumstances in this nation, uh, when I go to Nigeria, for example, is that the spirit of delay is at work strongly. Things that people in the West will never fathom is what we deal with on a daily basis. And many of them is connected to the spirit of delay. Now, in the case of Abraham, delay in childbearing did not start with him. It was a family thing. It was handed over to him by his father. And he, in turn, handed it over to his descendants until one of them finally put a stop to it. Hey, hey, yeah. Somebody in the lineage of Abraham finally put a stop to delaying childbearing. I'll talk about him momentarily. But let me prophesy to you. I prophesy to you that you will be the one, hallelujah, to put an end to your family inherited battles in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to you that you will be the one to put an end to the operation of the spirit of delay against your family lineage in the name of Jesus. This thing is serious, people. Let's consider the story of Abraham closely. 
And I'm going to share with you things that you probably have never, never heard of. In Genesis 11, in verse 30, we read, But it, Sarah was barren. She had no child. They've been trying to get pregnant for quite some time, but the pregnancy will not come. So he fell under the category of the barren. You know, when you get married and uh, one year, maybe even two years, nobody looks at you as if, as if you are barren. But when two years turn into 10 years, when 10 years turn into 20 years, people will be wondering, is she barren? Well, remember Abraham had a first child before he had Isaac. Abraham's first child was born when he was 86 years old. And that was not even the promised child. He waited not 10 years, not 20 years, not 30 years, but eight decades and a half plus one year before he had his first child that turned to be illegitimate. Because according to Genesis 21.5, when he had his second child, <laughs> he was 100 years old. So look at it. There was another 13 or 14 years delay before Isaac was born. The first child was born when he was 86. The second child was born when he was 100. So there were 14 years of delay in addition to the many, many years of delay before he had the illegitimate child. Inherited battles, if you are just joining us, is what we are talking about today. But you know what? This problem did not begin with Abraham. No. This problem started with his father, Terah. Yes. In Genesis 11, in verse 26, the Bible tells us, and Terah lived 70 years and begat Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Now, Terah, the father of Abraham, was delayed till he was 70 years old before he could have a child. And Abraham, his son, was delayed till he was 86 years old before he had a child, even though that child turned out to be illegitimate. Let me drink something here. Now, this is very significant. Very, very significant. Because all who came before him had the first child much early in life. Genesis 11 verse 10. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begat a Aphazad two years after the flood. Genesis 11 12. And Aphazad lived five and thirty years and begat Salah. And Salah lived thirty years and begat Eber. And Eber lived four and thirty years and begat Peleg. Verse 18. And Peleg lived thirty years and begat Reu. And Reu, verse 20, lived two and thirty years, and begat Sirog. And Sirog lived thirty years, and begat Nahor. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years, and begat Terah. You see that? Afhazad was thirty-five when he had his child. Selah was 30 when he had his child. Eber was 34 when he had a child. Peleg was 30 when he had his own child. Reu 
was 32 when he had his own child. Sirog was 30 when he had his own child. Nehor, Nehor was 29 when he had his own child. But when he got to the town of Terah, Abraham's daddy, the record tells us in Genesis 11, 26, and Terah lived 70 years before he had his child. 70 years. A new era had begun. A new era, not a good era. A new era, not a positive era. But in an era where the spirit of delay took hold of an area in the family, and that is in the area of childbirth. On record, before the father of Abraham was born, they had children in their family between the ages 29 and 36, from the record we just read. But when he got to Terah's turn, delay set in, and that delay continued continued for generations upon generations upon generations to come. I pray for you, and I pray for myself. May the Lord visit that year that every battle commenced in your family and in my family, and rewrite your family history, and rewrite my family history. Tear up had his first child at 70 years old. Some even think he could have been as old as 130 years before the child was born. But let's, let's take 70, because that's what our scripture says. It is very curious now to notice that according to Jones Bible Dictionary of Old Testament names, listen to Bishop, the name Tira means delay. Oh my Lord. The name Tira means delay. And as his name was, so was his life. Can I make an appeal to you? Be careful the names you give to your children. All right? Because names have a way of reproducing themselves in the lives of those who bear them. As a matter of fact, anyone that calls you by your name is prophesying to you. Yes. So be very careful the names you give your children because it will be reproduced in their lives. Can I pray a prayer for you? Whatever name they carried in your family in the past, whatever name they carried in your family in the present, if it adds to your battles, may the Lord deliver you by fire. Can I pray that prayer for you again? Whatever name it is that they carried in your family past or present, if it adds to your battles, if it brings delays or whatever it brings into your life that is negative, I pray for you today that the Lord God Almighty will mercifully look down and deliver you. Whatever nickname, sometimes it's not a name. Sometimes it's a nickname. I pray for you that whatever nickname they carried in your family, past or present, if it adds to your battles, may the Lord deliver you, may the Lord rescue you, may the Lord set you free. You know, time will fail me, ladies and gentlemen, to tell you that after Abraham had his only legitimate child at 86, and his legitimate child at 100, Isaac was not spared either. The same battle that grandpa fought, the same battle that daddy fought, was inherited by Isaac also. He married at 40. That was how old Isaac was when he got married. You know when he had his first child? At 60. That means he was delayed for 20 years. Just like Papa was delayed, 
just like grandpa was delayed. And don't forget now, the delay, the battle will start from somebody. The battle started from the father of Abraham, handed it over to Abraham. Abraham handed it over to Isaac. Look at what I mean in Genesis 25, in verse number 20. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pandaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Glory to God. Well, if you read that part, you will not know how long it took. Now look at the next statement now in verse 26. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. Look at the next statement. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. You see the connection? He married at 40. He had the first child at 60, or the first children at 60. Take 40 from 60. How many years did he wait? 20 years. Now, Jewish writers, they say that after 20 years, Isaac took her and went with her to Mount Moriah, to the place where he was bound and prayed that she might conceive. You remember when daddy took him to Mount Moriah and bound him almost, sacrificing him? Well, Jewish writers tell us that he got up one day and said, honey, let's go to that same Mount Moriah. And there he prayed for his wife that she might conceive. He put the Lord in remembrance of the promise he made there of the multiplication of Abraham's seed. How true that is, we don't know. It's possible it's true. It's possible it's just old woman's fables. But I thought I would share that with you. Then Jacob was born. Remember Jacob? Unfortunately, Jacob had his own share in great grandpa's battles too. He also experienced delay in Rachel. Genesis 31 tells us, and when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, give me children or else I die. Well, eventually, Joseph was born after these delays. Thank God, ladies and gentlemen, it was Joseph who arrested the trend that we've been reading about from the daddy of Father Abraham. When it got to Joseph, the trend stopped. Because Manasseh was born without any experience of delay whatsoever. I pray for you that whatever battle has gone on in your family, it will come to an end during this program as we pray together in the name of Jesus. I can preach more and give you more examples, but I promise you I will preach and then we will pray. Let me stop my preaching here. Let me give you some prayer points. And I hope you will stand up or kneel down or lie down or just take any posture that is good for you. Even as I bring you a couple of prayer points for the rest of our program for today. I want us to begin with thanksgiving. I want to say thank God 
I want you to bless the name of the Lord for your biological parents that God gave you too. I want you to thank God also for your new birth parent, which is God Almighty. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you for the fathers that brought us to the world, for the mothers that brought us to the world. They might be imperfect. They might not even be born again, but you use them to bring us into the world. We thank you. I thank you for my own father. I thank you for my own mother and your people that are watching me and that are praying with me today. I'm also thankful for the biological parents that gave birth to us. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for how they took care of us. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for how they did their best to bring us to the place where we are today. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. But we also thank you. Ultimately, you are our Father. I want you to bless the name of the Lord for God Almighty, for he is your Father. Hallelujah. As many as received him, the Bible tells us he gave them power to become the sons, of course, the daughters of God also. Father, we thank you because you are our daddy. We bless you. We thank you for bringing us into the family of God, for saving us, for redeeming us. I want you to thank God for the blood of Jesus that redeemed you from every ungodly parentage inheritance. Yes, the blood of Jesus redeems us from every ungodly parentage and from every ungodly inheritance. Come on, let's give God a praise for the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. We thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood that redeemed us. We thank you for the blood that brought us, bought us and brought us into the family of God. Come on, give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the honor. Give God the dominion. Give God the majesty tonight in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood. If it were not for the blood, where will we be today? We will not become sons and daughters of God. Father, we thank you for the blood that bought us, for the blood that redeemed us, for the blood that pulled us in into the great family of God. I want us to come before God and repent of the sins of our parents that opened the door to generational battles. Many of the generational battles that we are fighting today, they started as a result of the sins of our parents and our grandparents and our great, great grandparents who out of ignorance did not know the Lord. Yes, you see that in the Bible all the time. Father, we repent of, O oh Lord, we confess them in the name of Jesus. Whatever sins they have committed, sins of idolatry, in the name of Jesus, sins of abortion, in the name of Jesus, uh, sins of rebellion against God. Father, whatever sins our parents are committed by bowing down to idols, we pray that you will forgive. Whatever sin has opened the door to generational battles, we ask you, Lord God, that the blood of Jesus will wash, the blood of Jesus will cleanse. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us also and to have mercy on us for the sins that we ourselves piled on the sins of our ancestors. Father, I will pray that we will find forgiveness for our families today in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let there be forgiveness for everyone under the sound of my voice, whose parents, whose grandparents, whose great, great, great grandparents did one thing or another that has opened the door, that has closed the door, whichever way he did it, because of generational battles that have had access into our lives. Papa, forgive us and have mercy on us. Papa, forgive us and have mercy on us. Papa, please forgive us and have mercy on us. I want you to pray that the consuming fire of God will locate the virus of terror in your father's house. Yes, I call it the virus of terror, the destructive thing of terror, the broad delay. I want you to pray that whatever brought delay into your father's house, whatever brought delay into your family lineage, the blood of Jesus will wash, the blood of Jesus will cleanse. Oh, Lord, we ask for cleansing, we ask for purging, we ask for purification today in the name of Jesus by the consuming fire of God. Whatever it is that started this thing in my family that is affecting me today, whatever it is that started this foolishness in our families that is affecting us today, 
We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the fire of God. Yes, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the fire of God over our father's house, over our mother's house. I want everybody to say blood of Jesus. Say by that blood, say by that blood, I reject and I renounce every satanic transfer, every satanic handover from my parents in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been handed over to me that is not of God. Whatever has been transferred into my life that is not of God. Oh, blood of Jesus, cleanse and wash and purge and purify and remove right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. It washes brighter than, and whiter than snow. And by that blood, we come before you today in the name of Jesus to reject and to renounce all satanic transfers, all satanic handovers from our parents, from their parents, from their great-great-grandparents. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray, say, O oh Lord, every unfinished parental battle, O oh Lord, every unfinished parental battle, let it be terminated in my life. In the name of Jesus, like the delay stopped at Joseph, let every delay that runs in my family, let every sickness that runs in my family, let every trouble that runs in my family, let it stop at me, O oh God. Let it stop right here, O oh God, that these battles will not be transferred to your own children, that these battles will not be transferred to my own children. In the name of Jesus, we draw the line in the sand, O oh God, and all parental battles that are not finished, they will terminate in our lives. They will stop at our own time in the name of Jesus. These battles will not be transferred to my children. These battles will not be transferred to my children's children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to make a decree right now. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Say a decree. Come on, open your mouth. Say a decree. The powers that stopped my parents will not be able to stop me in the name of Jesus. Powers that stopped my mothers. Powers that stopped my fathers. They will not be able to stop me, O oh God. Let them not be able to walk against me. Let them not be able to succeed against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Powers that stopped our parents. Powers that stopped, O oh Lord, our ancestors. Father, we pray that you will cripple those powers by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say, I declare. Come on, let's declare. Say, I declare that by the grace of God, I shall win the battle, O oh Lord, of inherited battles in the name of Jesus. All inherited battles against my life, I shall win, I will win, I must win in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be defeated like my ancestors were defeated. I shall not be defeated like my parents were defeated. I shall not be defeated like their own parents were defeated. Oh Lord, break the yoke right now. Oh Lord, destroy the yoke right now. Oh Lord, put an end to it right now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say by the blood. Yes. Everybody say by the blood of Jesus. Us. Open your mouth and let us pray tonight. Let us pray this morning. Let us pray this afternoon, whatever the time is at your end. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I blot out every evil family record that may be speaking against me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, say, by the blood, say, by the blood, say, by the blood of Jesus, I blot them out completely. Every evil family record that may be speaking against me right now. Let them be removed. Let them be canceled. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it went from generation to generation to generation to generation until it came to Joseph. I want you to pray today. Say, O oh Lord. Say, O oh Lord. <laughs> Say, O oh Lord. Say, like Joseph, I receive the anointing that terminates generational battles. In the 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say like Joseph, oh God, I receive that anointing. The anointing that terminates. The anointing that puts an end to generational battles. Papa, give me that anointing. Give me that anointing. Give me that anointing tonight. Give me that anointing this morning. Give me that anointing, oh Lord, this afternoon, whatever the time is. Oh Lord, the anointing that was upon Joseph. The grace that was upon Joseph. The power that was upon Joseph. That empowered him to defeat the forces. That defeated his parents. Glory to God. Father, empower me to battle. Empower me to defeat. Empower me to have the victory over the forces that defeated my parents. They defeated generation after generation after generation. Abraham's daddy was defeated. Abraham was defeated. Isaac was defeated. Jacob was defeated. But Joseph came and said, no, I'm not going to be defeated. And he won. And he put an end to delay in childbearing. I want us to be specific in the area of childbearing. Say every spirit of delay that walks in my generational line, that walks in my bloodline, to delay people from getting pregnant, to delay people from having children, I break your yoke. I break your power. I break your control over my life. In the name of Jesus, Papa, empower me right now. Holy Ghost, empower me right now to defeat the forces that defeated my parents. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for power, 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 power. Everybody say power, 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 power. Everybody say power, 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 power. Everybody say power, 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 power. Power to win the battles that my parents could not win. Power, power to win the battles that their own parents could not win. Power to win the battles that grandfathers and great grandfathers could not win. Papa, give Give us the power. Papa, give us the power. Papa, give us the power to win the battles that our parents could not win. Abraham did not win it. Isaac did not win it. Jacob did not win it. But Joseph won it. I shall be the Joseph in my family that wins. Battles that are long. Battles that are bad. Battles that are known. Our families are known for. Father, I receive grace to win the battle. I receive power to win the battle. I receive anointing to win the battle. Say, oh Lord, I receive right now. Say, oh Lord, I receive right now. Power from on high, grace from on high to win the battles my parents could not win. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to place your hand upon your eyes. Say, oh Lord, open my eyes right now to see the battles confronting me. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes to see the battles confronting me and give me the strategy to defeat them. Give me the strategy to get defeat them. All the battles that are confronting me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. All the battles that are standing up against my life, in the name of Jesus. Papa, open my eyes, let me see them. O oh Lord, let me not be blind to what is going on around me, O oh Lord. Let me not be blind to what is going on around me, O oh Father. Open my eyes, let me see them. Open my eyes, let me know them. And give me the strategy to defeat them. Papa, give me the strategy to defeat them. Papa, give me the strategy to defeat them all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know what I like to call them? I like to call them Asian battles. Say Asian battles of my father's house. Asian battles of my bloodline. I terminate your, your, you by fire. I terminate you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Asian battles of my father's house. Asian battles of my lineage. Asian battles of of my bloodline, I terminate you by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not in my own name. Not in my father's name. Not in some voodoo or juju name. But Asian battles be terminated by the fire of God. Be terminated by the spirit of the living God. Be terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Present battles. Present battles that have been handed over to me by my mother. That has been handed over to me by my father. Expire 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 come on tell them to expire 
Come and tell them to expire. Ancient battles that are present in my life. In the name of Jesus. The present battles that are present in my life right now. The battles that I'm, that I'm struggling with right now. The things that I'm struggling with right now. Oh Lord, I shall struggle no more by your help. I shall struggle no more by your anointing. I shall struggle no more by your favor and kindness. Destroy the battles. Destroy the battles. Cancel them. Let them expire now by fire. Let them expire now by fire. Let them expire now by fire. All the present battles in my life, financial battles in my life, health battles in my life that I inherited from daddy, that I inherited from mommy, and they inherited it from their own ancestors also. Father, this present battle in my health, this present battle with money, oh Lord, destroy. This present battle with hardship, oh Lord, destroy. This present battle, oh Lord, with failure. Papa, destroy them. Papa, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, crush them all and destroy them and take them away from me. In the name of Jesus. Every present battle in my life that did not start with me. Every present thing I'm dealing with that did not begin with me. That began with Asian people. That began with Generations past, I command it to aspire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, you said that in the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Things on earth and things in heaven. I decree that every knee, every name must bow right now. Those battles in my life that have been brought out of inheritance be destroyed. Bow out of my life. 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 Life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, generational causes, I command you broken from my life. Generational problems, I command you to be lifted off my shoulders. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want us now that we are prayed against generational causes and generational problems. Now let's pray for generational problems. Blessings you have ordained for me, O oh God, through Father Abraham. Let it begin to manifest. Let it begin to manifest. Generational blessings. Remember, you are now in the family of God. Remember that Abraham's blessings are yours. Remember, you belong to the family of Abraham. Say, O oh Lord, generational blessings that you have ordained for my life through Father Abraham. Let them begin to manifest. Let them begin to manifest. Let them begin to manifest in every area of my life. Abraham, God told him, look in the sky. Look how many stars are there. That's how your children will be. I want you to pray for multitude, multitude of blessings in my family, multitude of gold, multitude of silver. He was blessed. He was very rich. He went after cattle. He had much cattle. He went after oxen. He had much oxen. I want you to pray tonight, pray to this morning, pray this afternoon, uh, that generational blessings, uh, so much so uh, that whatever I lay my hands on, uh, it shall be blessed, uh, it shall prosper, it shall multiply. Open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray, don't just look at me today. Uh, whatever I lay my hands on, oh God, uh, let generational blessings be upon them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, whatever Abraham laid hands on, uh, it prospered. Uh, I claim the blessings of Abraham this day. Uh, I claim the blessings of Abraham this day, whatever I lay hand on, may it prosper. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for yourself. Say my life, say my life. Come on, say my life. Receive the touch of fire right now. I want my life to receive your touch of fire right now, oh God. I want my life to receive your touch of fire right now, oh God. Open your mouth and pray it. My life, receive the touch of fire. Fire that burns inherited battle. Fire that bonds inherited deposits. My life receive it. My life receive it. My life receive it. My life receive it. Fire of God. Touch of fire. May it come upon me right now in the name of Jesus. All battlefields that I've inherited in my life. Fire touch them. Fire touch them. Fire touch them. Fire touch them. In the name of Jesus. Fire consume them. All inherited battlefields. Open your mouth and fire prayer today. All inherited battlefields in your life. All inherited battlefields in my life. Receive fire. 
receive fire, receive fire. All inherited sicknesses in my body, receive fire, receive fire. All inherited poverty is in my life, receive fire, receive fire. All inherited delays in my life, receive fire, receive fire. All inherited failures in my life, receive fire, receive fire. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that all houses of ammunition used by inherited armies, all houses of ammunition used by inherited demons, may they burn down to ashes right now. May they catch fire and burn down. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to go about sicknesses again. All the sicknesses that has been transferred into your body. Say, oh Lord, high blood pressure. My mother had it. His mother had it. My father had it. His father had it. And now I have it. Oh Lord, but I belong to the family of God. So Jesus, all inherited sicknesses, diabetes, all inherited diseases of the blood, of the womb, in the name of Jesus, all transferred sicknesses into my body, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and pray for your good health. All transferred sicknesses, all transferred diseases. Some of us have problems, digestive problems, and our parents had them. They handed them over to us. It became an inherited battle. Say all inherited battle with sicknesses of the bone, sicknesses of the brain, sicknesses of the eyes, sicknesses of the ears, sicknesses, oh Lord, with the hair. Lord, whatever the sickness is, whatever the sickness is, Father, heal me and deliver me and set me free. Let your fire consume it. It's not an inherited inheritance in Jesus. is not an inheritance in God. I claim the inheritance of good health that God has purposed for me by the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Inherited diseases, I fight you. Inherited diseases, fighting any organ in my body. Pray, 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 please. Say any inherited disease, fighting any organ in my body. Fire of God, fight against them. Fire of God, fight against them. Fire of God, visit every organ in my body, O oh God, and fight any organ disease. Fight any inherited disease, inherited disease that is fighting any organ in this body of mine. Destroy them, fight against them, burn them down in the name of Jesus. Can we pray for diseases of the cell? Say any disease of any cell in my body, whether it's developing or it has already developed, I destroy you by fire in the name name of Jesus. I destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. Say diseases that kill my mother, diseases that kill my father. You will not kill me. You will not destroy me. I break free from you in the name of Jesus. I break free from you in the name of Jesus. Your power shall no longer dominate my life like it dominated my father's life, like it dominated my mother's life. I reject you in my life. I reject your mission in my life. I reject your power in in my life. Say all evil promises. Say all evil agreements. Say all evil covenants troubling my life. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Whatever evil promises my ancestors made, whatever evil agreements, whatever evil covenants my parents and my ancestors signed, and you are troubling my life. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Expire by fire, expire by fire. All evil promises, all evil agreements, all evil covenants that are troubling my life right now, oh Lord, destroy them. Father, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Fire, destroy them. Wind of God, destroy them. Fire of God. Everybody say fire, 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 fire. Everybody say fire, 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 fire. Fire of God. Separate me from demonic powers that my ancestors submitted themselves. Hey! Any demonic power, any demonic force that my ancestors 
submitted themselves to, Papa, deliver me from them. Papa, rescue me from them. Papa, deliver me from them. Papa, rescue me from them. Fire of God, separate me. Demonic powers, demonic promises that my ancestors submitted themselves to, that my fathers and my mothers submitted themselves to. Oh Lord, separate me by fire. Separate me by fire. I declare today, I will not fight the battles of the, of the Lord. I will only fight the battles of the Lord. I will not fight the battles of my ancestors. Open your mouth and pray. Say, I will not fight the battles of my ancestors. I will only fight the battles of the Lord. The battles that my ancestors fought and they gave them to me. The battles my ancestors fought and they handed them over to me. I reject it, return to sender. I reject it, return to the grave. I reject it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, fire of God. Fire of God. Let me not fight their battles in the name of Jesus. Let me only fight the battles of the Lord in the name of Jesus. My life. Oh, come on. Say my life. Open your mouth. Say my life shall not be one inherited battle after another. Say my life, oh, in the name of Jesus. Say my life, oh, shall not be one inherited battle after another in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, whatever blood it is, open your mouth and pray. Whatever blood my ancestors shed that is fighting my life, say fire of God, say blood of Jesus, speak against it right now. Many times our ancestors were so ungodly, they were so unchristian, they shed blood. I want you to pray today, oh Lord, that whatever blood my ancestors might have shed, oh Lord, that is fighting me right now, fire of God, consume them, blood of Jesus, override them, whatever is in my bloodline that is covering my glory right now, whatever is in my bloodline that is covering my glory, Papa, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, remove it, in the name of Jesus, whatever is in my bloodline that is fighting my elevation in life, whatever is in my bloodline that is fighting my rising, oh God, whatever I've inherited that makes it impossible for me to easily, to easily rise, Papa, whatever is in my bloodline that makes it difficult for my family members to rise easily. Father, break it and destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn them down, burn them down, the covering, the covering that is covering my life, the covering that is covering my glory. Papa, burn it down, destroy it, burn it down, destroy it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every instrument of wickedness that is used in inherited battles against my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. All instruments of wickedness, all instruments of wickedness that is used in inherited battles against my life. Catch fire right now. Let's go against the principalities. Let's go against the powers claiming lordship over our destinies. Oh Lord, let them submit to you right now. Let them submit to you right now. In the name of Jesus, I want us to finally pray that spirits, say spirits, that my ancestors worshipped, that are angry because I will not worship them. I submit you to the fire of God. I hand you over to the fire of God. All the spirits Spirits, all the demons that my ancestors worshipped and they are angry with me because I'm not worshipping them. I will not worship you. I will only worship the living God. I command you to submit to the fire of God. I command you to submit to the grace of God in my life. Begin to thank God for the answer today. Begin to thank God for giving you the victory over inherited battles. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the victory victory we have over inherited battles. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son and I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May inherited battles come to an end in your life. And as it was in the life of Abraham's father and Abraham's descendants, delay in any form, delay in any shape, especially in the area of childbearing, we command it to break and to come to an end. May you walk in the fullness of the freedom that Christ offers us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Until next time when I come your way again, this is Bishop saying, stay free and free indeed.
Bye-bye.